Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 530, minimum absolute difference in binary search tree. First we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem we are given a binary search tree and we need to find the minimum absolute difference between any two nodes in the given binary search tree, right? So in this video we will see both the recursive and the iterative approach. So first we will see the recursive approach to solve this problem. So initially we will be having two variables. So the minimum difference which will be initialized as infinity at the start. So the minimum difference is nothing but our result variable, right? Then we will be having a previous variable. It will be initialized as none. So the previous variable will be used to keep track of the previously seen elements, right? Then we will move to the leftmost node in the given binary search tree. So the leftmost node is 1 in this input, right? Then after reaching the leftmost node, I need to check whether I have seen any previous elements or not. So in this case, the previous value is none. So we haven't seen any value yet. So we will initialize previous variable as the current to node value that is 1 right then I will try to go to the right side of this node which is none so I need to return back to the previous node that is 2 then I need to check the previous value whether is there any element exist in my previous value or not yes there is some value when this is true we will update our minimum difference variable so we need to take the absolute difference between the current node value 2 and the previous value 1, right? So we are going to get 1 and we need to take minimum between this 1 and the minimum difference variable itself. So the minimum difference variable is infinity. So the minimum value between 1 and infinity is 1. So we will update our minimum difference with 1. Then we need to update our previous variable as 2, right? That is the current value becomes the previously seen value now. So after updating the previous value, we need to move to the right side of the current node. So now we will move to the node 3, right? So now again we need to check whether previously value is none or not. So it is not none, there is a value so we will take absolute difference between the current node value 3 and the previously seen value 2. So we are going to get 1. Then we need to update our minimum difference variable. So the minimum difference variable itself is 1. Then the absolute difference between 3 and 2 is 1. So the minimum between these two is 1. So we don't have to change our minimum difference here. Then I need to update our previously seen value as 3 that is the current value right and there is null in the right side so we need to return back so our root will move to the node 4 so again we need to check whether previous value is none or not it is not none so we take absolute difference between 3 and 4 we are going to get 1 so the absolute value is 1 and we will update our minimum difference variable where the minimum difference variable itself is 1 and the difference between 3 and 4 is 1. We will take minimum between these two, which is nothing but 1. We don't have to update our minimum difference. Then I will update our previous value as 4, that is the current node value. Then I will move to the right side. So we will be at node 6. So again, we need to check whether previous is none or not. It is not none. So we take absolute difference between 4 and 6. So 4 and 6, right? The current node value is 6. So the absolute difference is 2. So we need to take minimum between 2 and minimum difference itself, that is 1. So the minimum value is 1. So we don't have to update our minimum difference. So now we have done all the nodes in the given binary search tree. So finally, we need to return minimum difference that is nothing but 1, right? That will be our answer. So now we will see the iterative approach. 
So in the iterative approach, we will be having our minimum difference as infinity and previous value will be initialized as none. And we will be having a current variable where it initially points to the root, right? Then we create an empty stack. Then we will be running a loop until my stack or a current variable exists, right? So in this case, stack is empty. So this is not valid, but the current pointer is true. So there is a node in my current variable that is nothing but the root node, which is four. So this becomes true now. Then we will be writing another loop inside this loop where we will append the leftmost values in the binary search tree in the stack. So in this case, first I will append the current variable four. Then I will move to the left side of the current variable. So it becomes two. Then I will append two to the stack. Then I will move to the left side of node two. So the current becomes node one. So now again, I will append one to the stack, right? And then I will try to move to the left side of node one, which is nothing but none. So we will stop running the second loop. So when we reach none, we will pop the last element from the stack and initialize to the current variable. So the current variable is one now. Then similarly to the recursive approach, we need to check whether previously seen value is none or not. So in this case, it is none. So we don't have to take the absolute difference. So we will just update our previously seen value as the current value, which is nothing but one. Then we need to update our current variable. So we will try to move to the right side of the current node. That is nothing but one. So the current node is one. So the right side of one is none. So current variable is none now. So now we go back to the first loop. So now we will run the loop if stack is not empty or current is not none. So in this case, the first condition itself satisfied because there are some elements in the stack that is two and four, right? So this becomes valid and we won't run the second loop since the current variable is none. So we don't have to go to the left mode side of the node. So we directly pop the last element in the stack, we will assign it to the current variable. So current variable will be having node two. Now we need to check whether previously seen value is not none. So it is not none. It is one, right? So we need to take difference between current variable and previously seen variable, which is nothing but one. And the minimum difference is infinity. And if I take minimum between these two, we get one. So we will update the one in my minimum difference variable. Then the previously seen value becomes the current variable. So the previously seen value becomes node two. Then we try to move to the right side of node two. So the current variable will point to the node three. So current will be having three right so we return back to the first loop so we need to check whether either stack is not empty or current is not none here is stack is not empty so we will run the loop then we will run the second loop where i will append the current node value three in my stack then i will try to go to the leftmost side of the node three so which becomes none so we will stop running the second loop so current becomes none. Then we will pop the last node in my stack, that is three, which we will assign it to the current variable. So now we need to check whether the previously seen value is none or not. So it is not none. So we take absolute difference between three and two, that is the current and the previously seen value. So the absolute difference between them is one. Then we take minimum difference between one and the minimum difference itself, which is nothing but one again. So the minimum between these two is one. So one will be updated in my minimum difference. So we don't have to change here. Then I will update the previously seen value as three. Then I will try to go to the right side of three, 
which is nothing but none so current becomes none so again i come back to the first loop so whether i need to check whether stack is empty or not so it is not empty so we will try to go to the second loop since current is none we don't have to run the second loop we will directly pop the last element in the stack and assign it to the current variable so current becomes 4 now i need to check whether previously seen value is none or not it is not none so we need to take absolute difference between previous and current so it becomes 1 then i need to take minimum between 1 and the minimum difference itself which is nothing but 1 again so the minimum between these two is 1 so we don't have to change anything in my minimum difference then we need to change our previously seen value as my current variable which is nothing but 4 then i will try to go to the right side of 4 which is nothing but 6 so current becomes 6 so we will return back to the first loop so here stack is empty but current is not empty it is not none we have 6 so we go back to the second loop and we will append 6 to the stack and we will try to go to the left side of 6 which is nothing but none so current becomes none then i will pop the last element in the stack which is nothing but 6 and i will assign it to the current so current becomes 6 now then i will take difference between previously seen value and the current which is nothing but 2 then i will take minimum between 2 and the minimum difference 1 so minimum between these two is 1 so i will assign 1 to the minimum difference now i will update our previously seen value as 6 and i will try to go to the right side of 6 and it is none so current will be none so now we return back to the first loop here stack is empty and current is also none so it fails so we don't have to run the loop anymore we just return the minimum difference variable that is nothing but one right that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys like this video hit that like button and if you guys want to see more videos from me press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications and this will encourage me to upload more videos in future so initially we are initializing the minimum difference variable as infinity and previously seen value as none so then we will write the dfs function so if the root is none we return and we will first try to go to the leftmost node of the binary search tree right so then we need to check whether the previously seen value is none or not and if it is not none where we will update our minimum difference variable by taking minimum between the minimum difference itself and the absolute difference between that is the current root value and the previously seen value right then we will update our previously seen value as the current node value then we will try to go to the right side of the current node value right then finally we will return the minimum difference variable that's all the code is now we will run the code thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys